Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Dragon Ball Nation. Today I'm giving you guys some Dragon Ball Super Episode 65 and 66 spoilers. You've probably seen stuff about it. Last night, I was in bed when all this crap was going down. Uh, and now I have a video here discussing these spoilers and my thoughts on them. So if you've seen spoilers for the news already, you can still stick around and get my thoughts on what's going on here. Um, but obviously spoilers, if you clicked on the video, you really don't care about getting spoiled. So, Episode 65, we already knew. Final Judgment, The Supreme God's Ultimate Power. And that's going to be airing November 6th, on my birthday, actually. Well, in the U.S., if you're you know, on, if you're in the U.S., it's not going to be airing on the 6th. It's going to be airing on the 5th. Yada, yada, yada. Little details, little details. But we have a little bit extra snippet. Remember in my predictions video, I had a little snippet of information, very small stuff about Trunks having a sensu bean. Uh, two sensu beans from my actually. But here we have some more from the, uh, the V-Jump. This is from Herm's. On Twitter, of course, the Zero Mortals plan heads into its final phase. Goku, Black, and Zamasu have merged via the Potara. Now, they've evolved into a fearsome foe sporting an, both an immortal body and formidable fighting power. What's more, merged Zamasu emits a wall of light that em eliminates all it touches, and yet Goku and Vegeta do not lose their fighting spirit. The mightiest god... His name is Merge Zamasu. So it looks, number one, it does look like the name, at, at least just at first glance at these first details, because things are obviously always subject to change, guys. They always are. It appears that what we're going to be getting for a name for this villain is Merge Zamasu, but is that going to change? I don't know. It's a, fun, it's a decent name. I mean, it's just, um, you know, Goku Black is Zamasu technically, so Merge Zamasu is a decent enough name, I think. But episode 66 we have here, airing November 13th, Showdown, the Unyielding Warrior's Miraculous Power. After his ring of light is broken by Goku's life-risking attack, something strange happens to Merge Zamasu. So, we're not exactly sure what the change is, and by the way, you can see at the top there, there's a little bit extra stuff for the November 6th episode, episode 65. Goku and company attack Merge Zamasu with Key Blast, but their key is erased. Just like in the you know the extra long one I just showed you, it said it erased ev that wall of light erased everything in its path basically. But after his ring of light is broken, after Goku does some life risking attack, I'm guessing he probably goes either maybe instant transmissions to it or breaks through it. Whatever he does, um, that's you know a whole lot of speculation on that part. Something happens to Zamasu. Does he transform, power up, get weaker, get sick? People have been saying, I know, I did watch Danny's video, you know, geeked him, because we're good friends, we uh, watch each other's content, and he had the scoop on this first, in the middle of the night. You know, he mentioned that people were saying that maybe they're going to take into account, he was saying, he heard that maybe they're going to take into account the fact that um, uh, Goku Black was actually Super Saiyan Rose before they fused, and I've seen people in my comment section say this as well, that since he was Super Saiyan Rose, maybe it's going to have some uh, problem with his life expectancy or his stamina, uh, because the Elder Kai and the Buu Saga said to Goku, don't transform until after you fuse, because if you transform before you fuse, it may shorten your life. So I don't think they're going to implement that, because that's such a, not really a throw away, uh, away line, but it's so... It is a little bit of a minuscule line, I suppose. It's not something that sticks out when people talk about fusion, I guess. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. They could use it, though. That is definitely possible. How much strain does uh, Super Saiyan Rose put on the body? I don't know. But at the, you know, on the flip side, Goku and Vegeta both had Super Saiyan Master in the Buu Saga. So, either way, you know, Super Saiyan should do something to the fusion. But I don't know if they're going to go down that road. But regardless, the wall of light being broken does... This means that it has a negative effect on Zamasu. Uh, now, remember, I'm not trying to defend my Vegito points either because I do still think that Vegito is coming. I just want to let people know, just because this is not said about... Vegito is not mentioned anywhere in episode 65 or 66 does not mean it's not going to happen. And if it doesn't, it doesn't, but I'm pretty confident it's going to. But with episode 66 we have here... It says that something hap strange, something strange happens to Merge the Monster. So what is that strange thing? Does he get even more powerful to the point where Goku and Vegeta are like, okay, 
we gotta do something here. And they're already completely outclassed, so the fusion's already an option in my mind. Uh, the Elder Kai, I'm sorry, the Supreme Kai and Gowasu are both there with both their pairs of Patara earrings, so fusion's a very likely cause uh, to happen. It's something that's very reasonable to occur. But what do you guys think actually happens as a monster? Because it's such a speculative thing. All we know is something happens to him. Hey, he could lose all his hair. I don't know. He could go bald, right? Anything. You could say anything. Uh, but I think what's going to happen is he's going to... After that wall of light is broken, I think what's going to happen is he's going to lose control. Not of his power necessarily, but... His mental stability, I feel like he's going to go a little crazy, crazier than usual, and really start messing stuff up. And I think that's when Goku and Vegeta are going to realize they have to stop this immediately. Is that going to happen? Usually when you predict Dragon Ball, it's usually never comes true, at least for me, because Dragon Ball, it's such a simple series, but you can tend to overthink things. Um, and a lot of things you predict just won't come true because it is so simple but it's also at the same side at the same time being simple it's also very unpredictable but I think that I don't think the wall of light is going to be, that being destroyed I don't think that's gonna weaken him uh, I think that's too that is kind of almost an obvious answer I feel like he's gonna lose control and just be really unstable mentally that's just my guess and it's probably wrong let's get real guys but that's what I'm feeling here but I do still think Vegito's coming, so just because it's not said in these two episodes doesn't mean it's not happening. And again, if it doesn't, it doesn't, but I'm pretty confident that it will. Uh, but that's about it for the video, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, remember, episode 65, I believe, Trunks has two Sensu Beans. That's what was said first, so I'm assuming they're going to be used for Goku and Vegeta because in the preview, they were on the ground. Pretty much looked like they were unconscious, so that's going to be used. Um, go check out my predictions for 65 if you want to see that. Uh, but other than that, guys, look, thank you guys for watching. Check out Herms' Twitter down below because he puts these out, obviously. Um, and, of course, I'll catch you guys later.